I never could really understand how Alan could do this to me. Give this house to the likes of you. If he wasn't already dead, I'd kill it myself. Here's your chance, Tracy. You stay out of this. This is between me and that harpy that you occasionally called a wife. I have no room for figments of my imagination. If Alan is a figment of your imagination, why am I seeing him too? Monica, you see him too? He just sat down. I can hear you. Oh my God, I should have known. Known what? You faked his death too. How could you do it my own flesh and blood? May I remind you that AJ is also your flesh and blood and no, I had nothing to do with this. I'm as shocked as you are. So that is Alan sitting in the armchair? In my armchair, yes. I don't care how you got here. Do you have any idea how much I've missed you? Well, I've missed you too. Oh. It's true. It's really true. You're alive. Not quite. I have never been so happy. You're about to be happier. Hi, Mom. Oh, I've missed you so much. I've missed you too. Really, Alan? You couldn't have brought mother or daddy back from the great beyond? You had to bring Monica's adopted waif? You did not just go there. It's good to see you too, Aunt Tracy. Well, I guess you both can't be alive. Are you just visiting? Um, here's backup. Dad wanted to talk some sense into you. Yeah, well, I hope that statement isn't directed at me because she's the one that's throwing me out of the house. Okay, for the last time, this is my house. Alan gave, gave it to me. Her. Ha! Laugh all you want to, Tracy. Clearly, they are on my side. In your dreams, Monica. Have you seen what your sister has been doing? She's been sabotaging our son. She stole your mother's pickle relish recipe right out from under him. Excuse me, Monica. Your pathetic loser of a son only deciphered that recipe after he stole my inheritance. I am the sole owner of Pickle Lila Relish, and it says so in Daddy's will. Okay, I think we're getting a little... You know, it doesn't here. matter who did what to who, because this is my house, and I have final say, and I say you go. Okay, Alan. You didn't come all the way down here to side with Monica over your sister. Tell that two-timing wench that I'm staying. Alan, back me up here. You found Tracy to be just as impossible as I do, which is a nice way of saying he couldn't stand you. Mom, can't you even try just a little? To do what? Meet Tracy halfway. After the way she insulted you? That was always my problem with you. You were a little holier than thou. Not Quartermain enough? Exactly. <laughs> now, you see what I'm dealing with? Oh, please. Look. Alan knows me better than anybody on the planet. Yes, we competed for our parents' attention and despised each other's children. Oh, you can stop right there. Ned and Dylan were always family to Alan. <laughs> Ned, mm -hmm. really? Even after you slept with him? The last in a long line of infidelities starting with Rick Weber? No, no, do not drag me in. Oh, should I get you to a room? I can't believe it's really you. Are you just gonna stand there and watch them fawn all over each other? Tracy, I am already dead. There's not really very much more that Alan could do to me, is there? He was never really uh, successful at murder, was oh, he? please, like you should talk. 
You seduced my married mom during a quarantine at the hospital. People were dying and you hop in the sack. Ellen, you told her that? There's a lot of downtime up there, Mom. <laughs> Loath though I am to say it, Emily is right. You are not nearly as squeaky clean as you pretended to be. Hello, mistress in the attic. Not that I have any use for Laura whatsoever, but that stunt you and Scott Baldwin pulled kept her catatonic for almost 10 years. That is not what happened, not at all. And I didn't come here to rehash the past. I came here to bury the hatchet. Alan, we have been lousy to each other for years. In our present state, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Hmm. Why don't we let bygones be bygones? Ellen. Bygones. Tracy? Mom? If Rick and Dad can finally make peace, then don't you think the two of you can? Come on, Mom. Dad came all the way from the afterlife to get you and Tracy to a civil place. This is really what you want? It is. Okay. Tracy, you can stay. Su casa es mi casa? Don't push it. Thank you, Monica. Your turn, Tracy. Truce. Truce. Satisfied? I don't know, Dad. I think, um, I think they should seal it with a hug. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. It really was a long trip, and a hug would just make it all worth it. You want me to hug her? Yes. It would take a bigger miracle than just this visit. Monica, it's a little measly hug. All right, you could spend the rest of your waking days being haunted by the likes of us. Next time, we won't be so nice. This is nice? So I need to get to the hospital to see Nicholas, so. Come on, Monica, our daughter's waiting. Okay, come on, let's get it over with. <sighs> Monica. Yes? They're gone. Uh. Wow, what the hell happened here? I have no idea. Alan, Emily, Rick, it was a dream, right? It had to be. We can barely share living space. Now we're sharing dreams? Well, what other explanation is there? What the hell is in that relish? <laughs>